a massive data center networking refresh is about to be unleashed. My name is Shekhar Iyer. I'm the CEO of Arcus, and I'm about to explain to you why applications like AI, in particular, are causing enterprises to rethink their network architectures, everything from top-of-rack switches to spines, leaves, and multi-cloud networking. So let me start off by saying that today, data center technology in terms of networking is still pretty rigid and archaic for everything, including switching and routing. What is happening to us right now is we've got uh, influences, particularly like the current wave of AI, that are requiring everyone to come in and essentially inspect what is happening inside their data centers to find out if that is going to be sufficient for them to support applications like AI. An application like AI is demanding in two respects. One, as far as the training algorithms and the backend computing is concerned, it requires massive scale, and it requires the ability to also do this on an as-needed basis. On the other side, when you start looking at things like inferences and what is happening at the endpoints, it requires drawing these out to remote edges, to mobile endpoints, and also providing in a packaged way just the right kind of networking and compute at those endpoints that are needed for these inferencing applications. What we do at Arcus is we have essentially promoted the concept of flexible networking. The ability for you to take a network operating system, namely ArcOS, and start distributing it as much as needed in the core, bring it to the aggregation points, bring it to the provider edges, bring it inside the enterprise, into their data centers, top of rack switches, spines, leaves, etc., and take it to the edge as well. This is extremely unique in an architecture that allows for a single network operating system to do this across the board. It saves cost because people can now do this with a standard operating system along with merchant silicon-based hardware. It's Ethernet-based. It can get up to speeds like 400 and 800 gigs in Ethernet, so the latest, greatest technology there. And it also inherently is connected to the 5G ecosystem from the communication standpoint a multi-cloud network for different hyperscaler um, connection points, and then it can be completely edge-oriented so that you can take it to all of the remote endpoints that you want connected to the data center. So in, a, in summary, I wanted to say that data center networking is getting transformed right now to enable this sort of flexibility, which will be a required thing, not a nice to have, but a required uh, architectural improvement for data centers to support applications like AI. Thank you.